Cabin Shields, see figure 44. 213, cement the shields to the side of the cabin roof in this order. C41, C42, C39, and make sure they are vertical. Then sand C40 to fit. No problem there. However, here's the main picture. If we take a look at that, here are these pieces I was talking about. See the angle? That's it. Page 18. Note C40, C41, and C42 are cemented to the side edge, while C39 lays on top of the roof. C39 lays on top of the roof. These others are cemented to the side. I need three hands. I'm just going for a dry fit. I labeled them C41 on the inside here, and C40 on the inside with the arrow going up. See how it lays forward, C40 does? Okay, and this has got to go on the outside. 41 goes on the inside right there. Yes, I know what you're saying. You went out of the contents putting those pieces on, but that was in order to go ahead and put C39 and C40, getting those correct angles on there. And then once that's just done, you can do, you can follow the instructions. No problem with that. I just found it was easier to do this. Then go ahead and put your C42 on. After that, on page 18, 214, cut and cement a 0.04 by 0.08 styrene filler strip along the rear side edge of the roof. See figure 44. Well, I got lucky, very little sanding. I used a spot buddy to go ahead and fill in those areas, as you see, very small, minor. Sand those out and then uh, do the other side. This is the first very light coat of glazing and spot putty that I used. I had minimum sanding. The products that I use, you should wear your dust mask. Use the uh, professional gold filler. It's got a finer uh, bonding material agent than the other regular uh, thicker bondo material the gold finish is works excellent use that for some larger filth jobs and of course your glazing and spot putty that's the, the red stuff there i tried doing it this way for the other side and then you still need three hands there's one this was all pre-done before i made the video here that'll work Take your time, take your time. Okay, I got the port side on in its rough shape and form. Thank you for watching and I hope you understand I am only doing the parts that I find it very interesting that it's, instructions are maybe not too clear, but uh, hopefully this will be a better understanding. Thanks for watching.